Well, the Call of Duty Cold War Alpha is officially ended. My name is Scissor RJ, and I'm here to give you the latest tea in basically everything that happened, you know, with the Call of Duty Alpha. Uh, it all started on Twitter, basically. I guess one of the Call of Duty Pro players mentioned something about skill-based matchmaking in the Call of Duty Cold War Alpha, and, you know, that kind of abrupted to everybody talking about it and all that stuff. So it's kind of going to this debate about if there actually is skill-based matchmaking in the game. Sorry for the awkward pause. But honestly, I I've been playing this game. Like, I've been playing, like, the beta, or the, basically the alpha. I really haven't really noticed, like, any significant changes. And, like, I'm not that bad at the game, even if I'm showing bad gameplay. I actually was fragging off in some of my other matches. But to me, though, it kind of feels like, I don't know, it's kind of like a mixed, you know? And I think everybody else has that mixed feeling, too, where I think everybody's just getting into lobbies with a lot of the tryhards and a lot of the sweats. And, you know, just like any new Call of Duty game, it's going to take an adjustment period to get adjusted to the weapons and see what works and what wasn't. It doesn't work. But I will say this. I'm not quite sure if there specifically is a skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty Cold War. And absolutely not defending skill-based matchmaking. I play a lot of Apex. I absolutely hate skill-based matchmaking. I can't even play Apex most of the time on public matches just because I'm getting paired up with people that are way beyond my own skill level. And I don't know if that's my problem or if I'm part of the reason why this is so messed up. Or if I'm getting sweaty, I don't know, but the game, or just skill-based matchmaking itself, it just makes you have to sweat every match. So for those of you that don't even know what skill-based matchmaking is, or SBMM, which doesn't stand for Super Smash Bros. Melee, basically what it does is that the game will scan your KDR, or basically stats, of your profile. Now, whatever stats you have, it's going to pair you up with more people of that same skill level. So, let's say you have like, I don't know, like uh, 1.30 KD, which, no, it's pretty decent, you know, not too bad, you know. You're gonna get paired up with supposedly people that are way beyond that KDR ratio, and people are obviously just gonna be better than you in every way. But now, that's gonna be all your public match experiences. And basically, skill-based matchmaking creates this type of barrier gap. And it's not a good barrier gap, because let's say you wanna play with friends. Well, the game is still gonna go to that skill-based matchmaking system, and it's going to pair you up, or at least verse you against people that are beyond your skill level and might be beyond your own friend's skill level. So, you know, it's just not a good thing to have. And whatchamacallit, I think I saw on Twitter saying that skill-based matchmaking has been in, like, Call of Duty ever since, like, Black Ops 2. Which is surprising to me because when I played Black Ops 2, like, in the past, skill-based matchmaking, I didn't even know what skill-based matchmaking was, alright, in Black Ops 2. Whenever that game came out, like, literally, I had no idea that this thing ever existed. I would just go into a quick match lobby, I would basically just camp, you know, and all the lobbies would be the same. I literally didn't even notice it. But to think about that, how it's going all the way that far back into, like, video games, that's, like, crazy to me. But it does feel weird to have it implemented in more of the other Call of Duty games. Like, for example, Modern Warfare. I know there's a lot of people talking about skill-based matchmaking in that. I don't know if it's true or not, because I usually don't play multiplayer, so I won't make any claims. But just imagine sweating every match. Now here's the thing, a lot of people think it's pub stomping, which, eh, I don't know, I feel like everybody's kind of lying on that fact, because obviously everybody wants a pub stomp, everybody wants to feel good about themselves. So I feel like when people say, no, it's not about pub stomping, I feel like they're just kind of using that as a scapegoat, because honestly, everybody would love to just pop off, you know, it makes you feel good, it's that dopamine effect, you know, it makes you feel it just makes you feel happy, you know? I feel like everybody's really lying with that. And I know a lot of content creators have also complained about skill-based matchmaking just because it's kind of harder to just relax on lobbies. There's this split division, though. There's this split type of, like, decisive choice of 
rather who you should care for because I know a lot of content creators usually complain about skill based matchmaking because it doesn't really show them popping off you know and that's the thing with YouTube everybody wants to pop off on their stream that's the whole point of like people that have TTV in the name you want to be good for your audience you want to pop off you want to basically just show that you're good you know, I actually have seen a lot of TTV people on the PlayStation Alpha. But, you know, going on from skill-based matchmaking, I don't necessarily think that there is skill-based matchmaking. It's kind of really hard. It's, it's just really difficult to determine if there actually is that type of system in the Alpha. I think it would be more easily accepted if there was actually, like, one of the developers confirming this, rather than everybody just saying in every Call of Duty, like, hey, this game, or just any video game in general, like, hey, this has skill-based matchmaking in it, just because you're getting into lobbies with a lot of the tryhards. To be honest, Call of Duty has always been sweaty. I think it will just always be sweaty no matter how tactical or how many changes they do. The game is always going to have its sweats. And I don't necessarily think that this alpha had a skill based matchmaking and like i said i probably just haven't played enough it's kind of just mixed for everybody i guess but if you do like skill based matchmaking though like if you do like that implementation then the famous quotes that are all over twitter is that you have no drive of confidence you have no like i guess yeah you just have a lack of confidence i don't know i've just been seeing that all over twitter but let me know what you guys think about this whole skill-based matchmaking. Do you think Call of Duty Cold War, or the, at least the Alpha, do you think that actually has skill-based matchmaking? I'm just going to come to a final verdict. I think that Call of Duty Cold War, when it first launches, is going to have skill-based matchmaking. And let me tell you why. The game feels like Modern Warfare. I think it's running on like a similar engine of something like that, right? And there's a lot of uh, studios that are working on this game, right? So let's think of it from a standpoint. If we've already had skill-based matchmaking in Modern Warfare 2019, then I think it would obviously just be a no-brainer that there's going to be skill-based matchmaking in Cold War. Even if it is made by Treyarch, as much as I love Treyarch, it is going to feel weird to just be in lobbies with a bunch of sweats when you know that you are not that type of skill level yet. I think that's what my verdict is acceptable at because, you know, I literally, you know, it's just really hard to pinpoint if there actually is this type of matchmaking system in the video game. It's really hard to just like pinpoint that or find the evidence for that, you know? There's sweats in every lobby and you don't know if that's just a surplus of people. So regardless though, I probably won't be playing multiplayer as much because I'm more of a zombies type of dude. but. Like I said, let me know what you guys think about skill-based matchmaking in the Call of Duty Cold War. Does it bother you? Or are you not bothered by it? Or what do you think about it? My name is Scissor RJ, and I will see you guys later. Peace what out. What the heck? Oh yeah, you're sh you Oh my god, I'm in- What, what the, the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Nick, I took a good chunk of your health, though, from that. I, <laughs> I did like a front flip. <laughs> Really? I can't get into this gun? Spooky thing is like you got It's like you were floating to the UFO like <laughs> It's like I got like I went under the map for a second and just pushed me out. <laughs> they did say it was an alpha sign. <laughs>